In our Business Angola series, we've been looking at how the country's diversifying beyond oil, by far its biggest source of income. But before we explore other sectors, we'd like to examine how the country's investment climate has changed to see how doing business here has gotten easier for someone with a good idea. Just two years ago, the capital of Luanda was rated the most expensive city in the world for expats. Not anymore, after oil prices plunged and the government floated its currency, the Kwanzaa. That's one reason the milling company Webcor plans to invest a quarter of a billion U.S. dollars in Angola over five years, including this new state-of-the-art flour mill, because recent government reforms made foreign investment easier. What has changed in the last two years to make the investment climate better? It's really improving everything here to, to invest, and we really believe in this new era in Angola. It's still having a lot to happen, a lot to come, but uh, we are very, very, very happy with this and uh, very satisfied. Barbosa gives us a tour of the production from floor to floor. Swiss-made machines shimmy and shake to sift out impurities and put the grain into different categories for different grades of bran or flour. This is the actual milling floor, also fully automated, though monitored by sensors, software, and the staff. The flour is packaged and laser tagged according to the quality of the grain for shipping across Angola and beyond. The mill processes about 1,200 tons of wheat into flour per day. 250 tons of it is bran for export. If it's easier for Webcor, why is Angola still low on World Bank's ease of doing business rankings? Barbosa says Webcor's presence with Grandes Moagens de Angola speaks for itself. The cost of living is improved, the way to do it business here has improved, and the regulations are there to help, and we are really seeing a good future to Angola. The visa are easier so we can bring better training and better people to to help to transfer technology, which knowledge meant to the people that we have. That includes trainers for lab technicians like Janette Barbosa, who use high-tech instruments to test the flour. An alveograph checks the dough's flexibility by inflating it and makes sure it stands up to company standards. I received training here in the factory. By working here, I'm learning more about the wheat, about the flour, and I'm growing professionally as a chemist. That's part of growing the skill set in Angola while diversifying the economy as businesses seize on a changing investment climate. The policies supporting that climate are why the International Monetary Fund is backing Angola with a recent $3.7 billion loan. How is this loan and the government's reforms, how are they making it easier for foreign investors to do business? Some of the important reforms have been passed already, like the new law on private investment, the new law on competition. And we see these policies to go in the right direction. You can repatriate on a timely basis your dividends, your workers, foreign workers can rep repatriate their salaries. You are not forced into having certain domestic partners. That attracts investors. The challenge to maintain that momentum, companies like Webcor are keeping it up with new plans for investment. And that momentum just got a vote of confidence from the IMF. That's all for now on Business Angola. From all of us here on the Euronews team, we say obrigado. Thanks for watching and see you next time.